Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve problem number 194. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says, and this problem, by the way, is very similar to the one we did before, number 186. And here you see the list of all the problems dealing with the notion of time distance. This is a time distance problem. And all of these numbers that you see here refer to the, all the time distance problems that we have done so far. 166, 167, 172, 176, 181, 182, 186, 187, 191, 192, 193, and 194 is what we are about to do. And we'll do two more. But this one, 194, is similar to 186. We are told that A takes 4 hours more than B does to walk 40 miles. So they are both walking 40 miles, A takes 4 hours longer. But if A were to double his speed, it says, but if A doubles his pace, he takes 3 hours less than B does, if he doubles his speed. So the question simply is, how fast are they walking? How fast are they walking based on the fact that A takes 4 hours more to walk a distance of 40 miles, but if he were to double, uh, but if he were to double his pace, he will actually take 3 hours less. Let's see what we can do, shall we? So the unknown here, the very first thing we of course we have to figure out, we have to, we have to understand and realize, is the, the variable that we're going to define. We must always learn, define our variable clearly. That's the, that's the first requirement. The question is how fast are they walking? We know A takes 4 hours more than, than, than does B to walk 40 miles. So A takes 4 hours more. So let's, let's give this B guy some name. How many hours does B take? And then A will simply take 4 more than that. So here's our solution. So let's define let the number of hours, let the number of hours B takes to walk 40 miles B is small letter B. We're going to use small letter B to represent the number of hours B is taking to walk a distance of 40 miles. But if that's the case, then we know that that would imply then we know that A must take A must take oh he takes 4 hours more we are told that A takes 4 hours more so A must take B plus 4 hours to walk 40 miles so we have time for both of them we know the distance they are walking 40 miles we can ascertain their speeds. We can ascertain their speeds because the distance is constant. They're both walking 40 miles and we know their respective paces. So let's do that, shall we? So this implies, this in turn, this whole thing, this whole setup in turn implies the speed of A. Now before we, before we get into this thing, I want to make sure that we understand and I'm going to, we have done it before, but I'm going to take a few seconds actually to, uh, to clear it up one more time, just in case. Time distance problems are so called because they don't, they deal with one very simple notion, very simple concept, very simple uh, observation in nature. I don't want to call it formula. Don't call it formula because it's not that complicated, which is, for example, for example, if I tell you that I'm going 10 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour, and if I travel for three hours, if I travel 10 miles per hour for three hours, how far will I go? Well, at 10 miles per hour, if I were to go for 3 hours, I will go exactly 30 miles. I will go exactly 30 miles. Where does this mile come from? It comes from the fact that we have this 10 miles per hour, our speed. We multiply it by the hours, and then hours cancel out, and we end up with 10 times 3 miles. This is your, don't call it formula, it's a very simple concept. You understand? This is our distance here. This is our distance. This was our speed. And this is our time. Keep in mind, so now the, the variable, the, the symbols that we can uh, use is D for distance, S for speed, and T for time. Keep in mind, this distance is being expressed in terms of miles, the speed is being expressed in terms of miles per hour, and the time is being expressed in terms of hours. This is the equation that we have to use. So this is, this is what we mean by S. When we say S, we're going to use letter S to represent the speed, as we have said already, with the subscript A to represent the speed of Mr. A, and 
S with the subscript B to represent the speed of Mr. B. So that's what it is. That's the setup you have to keep in mind. So I need the room, obviously, we need to raise all of this thing. So this setup in turn implies, this setup in turn implies that the speed of A must be, well, how far, how far is he going? He's going 40 miles. And how many hours does it take? It takes him B plus 4 hours. B plus 4 hours. As you can see, miles per hour. This is how many miles he goes and this is how many hours he takes. So this is how this is what the speed is. 40, 40, over, 40 over B plus 4 is the speed of A. 40 over B plus 4 miles per hour. That's that's B speed. Similarly, similarly, it's rather A speed, not it's A speed. Similarly, the speed of B, B take, it still also travels 40 miles, but he only takes B hours. So his speed is simply 40 over B miles per hour. That's his speed. So we, for what do we extract from all of this thing? We extract the speed of A and we extract the speed of B. Now we move on to the second part. The second part of the story where what happens if he were to, if A were to double his pace. So that's what we're going to do. We, all, we know the pace of A. A is going this fast. We're just going to double that quantity. This is B plus 4. This is B, letter B, plus 4. B that we're using to represent the number of hours that B was taking. We defined it a little while ago. Let, let the number of hours B takes to walk 40 miles be B. That's your B. The small letter B represents how many hours B takes. So let's double the speed now. We're going to take we're going to take A's, A's pace, but, so here we go, this is our continuation from here, but if A doubles, doubles his pace, if A doubles his pace, what happens? Well, his pace is right here. Where is A? Right here. 40 over B plus 4. 40 over B plus 4. If you were to double the pace, I shouldn't have written like this. Let me, let me, let me. I meant to put the parentheses at the bottom. This is his, this is speed. This is the speed of A. If he doubles the pace, then instead of 40 over B plus 4, it's going to be 40 times 2. That's his speed. Or if you like, 80 over B plus 4. That's his speed, miles per hour. And he takes and and he. When we say he, we're talking about A here. We're talking about Mr. A. And he takes how many hours? But we are told that if he were to, the problem tells us that if he were to double this pace, uh, double his pace, he takes three hours less than B does. And B, we know, takes B hours. So A, if he doubles his pace, he must take B minus three hours. But what happens now? We need the room now, so we're going to raise the bottom part. So we know how many hours he takes. He takes B minus 3 hours. We know what his speed is. His speed is this many miles per hour. And we know how much distance he travels. He travels 40 miles. So 40 miles must equal, must equal his speed, which is right here, 80 over B plus 4 miles per hour times the hours b minus 3 hours and again one more time the hours are going to drop out the unit of hours is going to cancel out and we end up with the miles which is what we have here there is your equation there is our equation and all we have to do is solve for b all we have to do is solve for b once we know the value of b which is the number of hours mr b takes once we know the value of b we can figure out the speed of b and once we know the speed of b we can figure out the speed of a We'll, we'll see, one thing at a time. Let's cross multiply, uh, let's cross multiply, let's multiply the entire equation by b plus 4. So this b plus 4 is going to end up on this side, so we end up, this implies that 40 times b plus 4 must equal, I'm not going to write the units anymore, must equal 80 times b minus 3. Let's continue. So we get 40b plus 160 must equal 80B minus 240. 
ATB minus 280. I hope I haven't made, made a mistake any. 8 times 8, 3 is a 24. That's correct. Let's bring the 40B on this side, so we end up with 40B equals, and bring 240 on this side, so we end up with 160 plus 240. 160 plus 240 comes out to be exactly 400. Oh, what do you know? That's very nice, isn't it? That implies that B, B must equal 10. B must equal 10. Always remember what B represents. B represents the number of hours Mr. B takes. Let's continue on the top. We're going to continue this thing on the top. So that tells us, this tells us that B takes 10 hours because we turned out, we found out that B is 10. B takes 10 hours to walk, to walk 40 miles. Well, if it takes 10 hours to walk 40 miles, that in turn implies that the speed of B must be 4 miles per hour. So that's the first part. The question was, what are their speed? How fast are they walking? We found the speed of B. Let's work on the speed of A. Let's work on the speed of A, shall we? We need the room, of course. As always, we're running out of room. The speed of A, we know. We know from the uh, from the earlier work that A walked 40 miles and he took three hours more, rather four hours more, we were told. He took four hours more than B does. B took B hours and this guy takes four hours more. Which means he must take 40 over 10 plus 4 or 14. 40 over 14, which is same as 20 over 7 which is same as 2 and 6 7. That is the final answer. I'm going to erase all of this thing here so that it doesn't come in the way. It's annoying because we are done with it. There is your speed of B. Is it B or A? This is the speed of A. A, B was very simple. B was just 4 miles per hour. That's it. That's it. As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. At this point, we will do what we always do, which is to take a few seconds to make sure that our answer that we arrived at is in fact correct. We're going to do the verification, shall we? Let's do it. Let's verify. Verification. How are we going to verify? How are we going to go about verifying it? We are claiming, this is what we are claiming, we are claiming that A's speed is right there, 20 over 7, 20 over 7 miles per hour, that's what we are claiming. Now, if that answer is correct, if this answer is correct, then this must be correct, because this comes from, from that. So as long as this one works, this one fits in the, in the problem, if this one fits with the story, then we are okay. If, that's, if that, in fact, is the correct answer, we, which we do not know, we're verifying it. We've, that's what we're claiming. We're claiming that A's speed is 2 and 6, 7, which is 7 is 20 over 7 miles per hour. If that, in fact, is correct, then that would imply that if he doubles his pace, doubles his pace, that is, instead of 40 over 7, it's going to be 40 times 2 over 7, or 40 over 7, he should take, he should take, how long? Three hours less than the first guy, three hours less than the, the B rather. He should take, B takes 10 hours, he should take three hours less. In other words, what we are claiming is, in other words, what we are claiming is, again, we ran out of room one more time, so we have to get rid of the top part here. What we are claiming is that this guy travels at 40 over 7, 40, 40 over 7 miles in 1 hour. Are you with me so far? Watch what happens. If that is true, if that is true, then if you were to take this statement, if you were to take this statement and multiply both sides of this statement, I don't want to call it equation, 
If you want to multiply both sides of the statement by any constant, it should still hold. If he's, in other words, in other words, if he's going 40 over 7 miles in one hour, then in two hours, then in two hours, he should take, in two hours, one, one, one times two is two, in two hours, he should go twice as far. In five hours, let's put it like this, one hour, this should have been in the black marker, I'm making too much fuss now. So in two hours, in two hours, he'll go twice the distance. In five hours, in five hours, he should go five, five times the distance. And similarly, in seven hours, in seven hours, he should go seven times the amount of distance. Watch what happens now. Watch what happens. So in seven hours, in seven hours, he should go to, in seven hours, he should go seven times the amount of distance. Seven from the bottom is going to kill the seven from the top. And what we find is that he goes 40 miles in seven hours, which is exactly, which is exactly what he's supposed to be. He should take, he should take seven hours to go 40 miles, to go 40 miles, according to the problem. And that, since that's what we find, that's, since that was we find, that's what we find when we plug in the values that we're claiming for the speeds, that's exactly what we find, which means our answer must be correct. I know.